Hello and welcome back to the channel. Whenever VS Code is being used, there's a general idea that when creating a basic website using any coding method, it's necessary to build the entire design and the full landing page manually. It required writing the complete code and adding all relevant content from scratch. So while developing a website, everything had to be included directly into the project and the code had to be written entirely by hand. Now there's a significant improvement. Code can be generated through ChatGPT. But what if instead of these methods, the code could be created simply by using artificial intelligence? This tool offers AI capabilities that allow the entire process to be simplified. Let's go ahead and close this for now. Then there's a shortcut that can be used, which is called Open Chat. To launch Open Chat, press the keys Control Alt I. As soon as all three keys are pressed together, a complete chatbot interface will appear. This chatbot is powered by an AI based copilot, so some inaccuracies may occur. Always review the outputs carefully before using them. Any available option can be selected directly by accessing the Add to Read section, where various tools and extensions can be installed. A chat extension is also available, which can be installed and used within the chat environment itself. What's being used here is GitHub Copilot Chat. It offers several features such as activation, environment words, API suggestions, chat participants, commands, and various other functionalities. The primary use case for this comes into play when there's a need to handle a website file. Here's what we'll do. We'll remove the previous steps and simply open the chat window. Then type a prompt such as create a complete portfolio website with inline CSS. Various models are available here that can be used for this purpose. Alongside these models, content can also be generated directly through the prompt. Just enter the request and within moments, the website will begin generating with all required details, styling, and other specifications based on the input. Once this is done, the result can be accepted. After accepting the generated content, it can be saved. Now, a sample website layout has been successfully created. This covers a basic overview of how the process works. For more complex use cases, like generating code at a larger scale where errors might occur, an example can be created for an About Us section and include some code. A sample website is displayed here, and code has been inserted accordingly. As soon as this code is saved, it becomes evident that there are several issues present. If there's a need to improve the code, manual adjustments can be made. Corrections can be applied to each section, such as including the necessary tags or selecting all of the code and clicking on the relevant icon. From there, the option to modify using Copilot or review using Copilot becomes available. If any syntax errors exist, they can be corrected directly through this feature. By clicking on the modify option, a refined version of the code is generated, addressing the required improvements. This leads to accurate syntax correction, ensuring that the code is now properly interpreted and that all errors, typos, and tag-related issues are resolved. This becomes especially useful as it automatically detects and resolves all errors, making the process more efficient. Another practical use of this feature is when facing difficulty with any coding-related task. A direct query can be entered here. For instance, asking, what are the top five extensions to use in VS Code, allows the system to respond with helpful insights. Although the question isn't related to any files, it will be checked for a response. Several models are available that can assist with such queries, and the message can be sent directly. This includes enabling access to advanced models like Claude 3 for all users, which supports responses from providers like Anthropic. Once enabled, the system returns relevant information. For example, it may provide insight into which extension is considered the most feature-rich or widely used. Additionally, under the chat settings, navigating to Manage Models reveals all available models. These can be activated as needed, and for access to premium models, further steps can be taken accordingly. To proceed, the next step is to head over to GitHub and purchase the model. The pricing options are listed clearly, including a free plan, a pro version, and pro plus. The free plan is highly recommended as it offers access to most essential features. By opening this tool directly in Visual Studio Code, access becomes immediate. Since it has been previously enabled, there won't be many complications. In this case, the model from Anthropic will be selected. Selecting any model will require an API key. In addition, another useful feature is the ability to type a slash command, which allows searching directly within VS Code. By using this search function, any content can be retrieved. For instance, typing about will locate the about us section or any related content across the entire workspace. This process will return the about us index or any reference to the keyword about, and with just a few steps, the relevant data can be found easily. This allows for a more efficient approach, especially when dealing with files containing extensive code bases, sometimes even millions of lines. Rather than relying on manual search methods, it's more effective to utilize Copilot directly. This demonstrates how Copilot functions as a complete pair programming assistant. 
Similar extensions are also available for other tools such as EXLint, Sublime Text, and others. However, with Copilot already integrated, it provides broader utility and convenience across different areas. Hopefully this gives clarity on how the tool operates and encourages integrating Copilot into your workspace. Feel free to like or subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell icon.